I have finance data, I have manufacturing data, I have some recent news articles, I have some market research of social posts and reviews, but then I also have my web search tool in here. And so I can sort of combine all of the first party data that I have from my finance and market manufacturing data. I could combine some recent news as well as combine any of those sort of external tools as well. So if I did wanna go and ask a question using my copy and paste program here, I can start to string together some of these agents. So I can ask something like, who is our chocolate supplier? Can you bring up some recent information information about them. I just want to make sure as we're going into the holiday season that we should be okay on our uh, chocolate manufacturer. And so it's going to reach out first to my finance agent here and ask our chocolate supplier. And so we can see here that my cocoa butter and cocoa mass are both provided by Lint. Um, one comes from the United States, one comes from Switzerland, for example. And so what it's going to do is then um, it's giving me a little bit of a summary there. And then it's also reaching out with my web search tool to query about Lint and see if there's any sort of recent information or anything I should be worried about or know about. And so then it starts to summarize that for me. So I can see some of their annual sales. I can see one of the few, few chocolate manufacturers producing from bean to bar, for example, and that their market position, they're recognized as a leader. So I should be totally okay relying on them, especially going into this holiday season. So this really lets you start to bring together both that first party data that you have in Databricks, any external MCP servers that you have and any tools you wanna leverage and really sort of bring all of that together 